Hello young people. Next video, sedimentary rocks. I'm trying to make this real quick for you. Uh, we know that sedimentary rocks are little particles of other stuff cemented together, right? That's from our last video. Uh, so last video we broke down all rocks into three main categories. Now we're going to take one of those categories, sedimentary rocks, and we're going to break that down into three main categories. Um, we have what are called clastic sedimentary rocks, and they are simply made of other rocks, bits and pieces of other rocks. We have chemical sedimentary rocks, which form uh, from precipitated minerals that used to be dissolved in water. Maybe the water used to be really hot and it cooled off and those minerals couldn't stay dissolved anymore. Or maybe that water evaporated and those minerals just stayed behind. There's different ways to get uh, chemical sedimentary rocks. And the final way that we can make sedimentary rocks is biological. We can't have biological minerals, but we can have biological rocks. Limestone, for example, is a rock made from parts and pieces of corals. Um, so, quick description of each kind, clastic sedimentary rocks. Uh, those are described and classified based on the size, the shape, the composition of the stuff that's cemented together. And the reason we pay attention to that is because they're clues. They're clues in a big story. If I come across a sedimentary rock called conglomerate that's uh, full of rounded pebbles the size of my fist cemented together, that tells me something about where that rock formed and what the conditions were like when it formed. Um, and and so, so water transport in those clastic sedimentary rocks plays a big role. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Water transport plays a big role because water sorts the sediment as a, as a river loses velocity, smaller and smaller things will start falling to the bottom. So that's our clastic sedimentary rocks. Some examples would be conglomerate. It's a clastic rock, sedimentary rock made of the sediment inside of it can be rocks as big as my fist. Or you could have a sandstone where all of the particles in the rock, all of the sediment that makes up that rock, are all sand sized. Or you could have a shale, which um, the particles that make up that rock are the size of kitchen flour. So there's a big range. Um, you can have precipitates, that's our second kind, right? Um, evaporation, change in temperature. Some examples, salt, salt. Salt is a mineral, hydrogen chloride, or uh, no, sodium chloride. The heck am I saying? Sodium chloride. Uh, and that forms, it's dissolved in water, and as that water evaporates, these salt crystals form. Uh, you can also see a lot of evaporate chemical sedimentary rocks if you ever go to Yellowstone National Park. Only there it's sulfur smells like rotten eggs, but it's still super cool. Uh, we've got uh, biological sedimentary rocks are made by little bits and pieces of organisms that those organisms leave behind. So little microscopic shells and whatnot. Uh, so where do these rocks form? Where are what are sedimentary environments? Uh, sedimentary rocks will form anywhere that sediment accumulates. 
So anything from sand dunes to river deltas, if there's sediment accumulating there, someday you're going to have a sedimentary rock there. The last thing I want to say about sedimentary rocks is it is the only type of rock that can preserve a fossil. Not in igneous and not in metamorphic. So if you got fossils, you got sedimentary rocks. All right, young people. Next video, igneous rocks. We're rocking and rolling. No pun intended. <laughs>